First, fast, accurate, with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 6. Crime and code violations are down in some South Bend neighborhoods. Mayor Pete Buttigieg says his 1,000 Homes in 1,000 Days initiative is a big reason why. Now, WSBT 22's Kelly Stopsinski is trying to track down those numbers and is talking with neighbors. Kelly, the deadline on that project is coming quickly. Take a look, Rick, at the city's uh, website here. It shows 70 days, 6 hours, 59 minutes, and 53 seconds until that November 24th deadline. And you can also see here 991 vacant and abandoned houses. Houses repaired, demolished, or otherwise addressed since the mayor launched this program a little over 18 months ago. And the city says brand new numbers show reported criminal activity decreases, goes down within a half mile radius of a vacant or abandoned home once it's been addressed. In the year he's rented this house on Walnut Street in South Bend. You can tell the difference just on these two blocks here. Bernie Butts says he's noticed lots of change. And they all got tore down in there. That one got tore down over there. And then the one on the corner just got tore down a couple weeks ago. And less trouble. No place where nobody can hide. See, before, you know, you could run up in any of these vacant houses around here, you know, and then the police would have to do a house-to-house -house check. To me, it seems like it's getting cleaner. Savoy Evans also lives on Walnut, where the city says it's addressed nearly 20 homes since February 2013. Once we have a chance to fully run the numbers, I think we're going to see proof that uh, this is making neighborhoods safer uh, as well as more pleasant. The city says it's not ready to release specific numbers on this just yet, but it's found a statistically significant decrease in crime incidents and code enforcement violations in a one or two block radius around vacant and abandoned homes after they were addressed by the city. Benny and other neighbors say they're grateful for the change, but they want to make sure this neighborhood isn't forgotten in the future. I just want to know uh, what do they have planned for the, all these vacant lots now. In some cases, the neighbor actually purchases the lot and turns it into a side yard. We also have to look at solutions like community gardens and, of course, the long-run goal, which is to have a new, safe, uh, healthy house right on that lot where the old ones stood. But those improvements are not as simple as they sound. Right now, the city already goes through a lengthy legal process to try and contact the people who own those vacant and abandoned homes. And even once the houses are torn down, keep in mind the city still doesn't own them. In fact, right now, the city is going after those property owners that it can't track down, trying to legally recoup the money that it costs for the demolition. And as far as the 1,000 Homes in 1,000 Days initiative, a city spokeswoman says that deadline, the November 24th deadline, should actually be met by the end of this month. Jennifer?